probably our most favorite uh, Halloween attraction, as you saw probably just a minute ago, Not Scary Farm. Uh, it's our favorite for, all, for a lot of reasons, and we're gonna show you all. There's a little bit of scarecrows and, or uh, skeletons rather. Right. We're right inside the, the gate and there's already people walking around trying to scare people. So let's go check it out and see what we can get into. So join us on this experience. Well, as always, they always tend to target Ashley, as you know, oh, yeah. the five foot nothing blonde, but what they don't actually know is she could care less. I'm actually the slightly jumpier one, just for shock and awe stuff. I'm not actually scared of them. It's just the surprise factor, but they never seem to want to target me. So maybe we'll keep that under wraps and see what they do. So over in this corner, we've got the depths, dark entities, paranormal ink, and then there's also Waxworks over in this corner, which there's the entrance for that one right here. Oddities of nature and much, much more. Come inside, won't you? From the fire that destroyed my beloved Waxworks, I arise. But no amount of flame could stop my beautiful art. I present to you my first masterpiece, a loving amalgamation of you. Now there's a bunch of chains hanging with limbs hanging. And a bunch of Marilyn Monroe looking individuals. Rendered painstaking. It's a very saw type of feeling here. Oh my goodness, that one got me, and that's not even a person. So Wax Works was an excellent first maze to experience at Knott's. And now we're going into the depths. This is not a new maze, but this one's very cool. They have a lot of cool laser effects in here that make it look like you're walking through swamp water. So let's go check out the depths. And here we go into the active mine area. And naturally we got held up, so we are the first to go through.
shark. We're getting ready to go into a restricted area, authorized personnel only. Security clearance S7 required. Use of deadly force is authorized. So we're gonna try and sneak our way in. Alright, here we go. We managed to sneak past the guards. We've got through three mazes so far. We're about to go through the fourth, the fright pass, uh, as they call it here. Kind of the front of line pass is quite helpful. We've been here for maybe 25 minutes and we've already knocked out three and we'll go right into our fourth one. So far, they're, they're really good as always expected. We've gone through one new one, two that have been here before. The next one we're gonna go on is Paranormal Inc. The Hayden Hill Sanitarium. So we're here at Hayden Hill Sanitarium. This is the site of the most critical yep. activity that we've seen on Third Omen. Okay, it's getting a little creepy out there, everybody. So I got my partner Barry. He's in the basement. We're gonna test out a new experimental ghost pod. Now this thing is gonna help us capture a ghost tonight. Y'all wanna capture a ghost tonight? Yeah! All right, Barry, let's do this. Yeah! Hey, Barry. Score this. No, no, no. You're all going to die. ghost town where they always keep it really really smoky and lots and lots of actors
older, angrier cousin. Oh, that one's alive. <laughs> Bizarre, bizarre. Those are great food. How bizarre, how bizarre. The official 29, 2019 Not Scary Farm shirt, $16.99. Individualized maze shirts, there's Waxworks, Origins, Curse of Calico. That's a very cool shirt. <laughs> and here is original artwork made for Scary Farm that's available for purchase at varying prices. I particularly like the Ouija board one. A display for Brian Henson presents Puppet Up, as bad as you want them to be, uncensored. Official show merchandise. You've got boy girl puppets for $35 and hot dog puppets for $25. And then uh, even more original artwork. Oh, here's a smaller version of the Ouija board, and it even comes with the little device. Wait. Good one. <laughs> In the next maze, as he's moving away from me, the Shadowlands live by the sword, die by the sword.
Maze Dark Ride, one of our favorite mazes here at Not Scary Farm.
final maze of the night. This one's always interesting because they actually make it look like you're walking through a pumpkin and they make it smell like a pumpkin on the inside. going to do it for our experience this year 2019 not scary farm you can see right there two new mazes were both fantastic uh, we loved them both I would advise though if you have the extra money to spend on the fright pass it's about $45 just for a regular ticket and then it's about another 90 or so to add the fright pass front of line pass the longest line we had to wait in for mazes was infected the basically the zombie laser tag and that was about a, probably a 20 minute wait for the uh, front of line pass the regular mazes the longest we had to wait was probably about 10 minutes and then no other maze was really over a five minute wait where there's multiple mazes throughout the night that were 90 minutes 75 minutes and 60 minutes so unless you get here first thing in the evening and then stay until they close at about two o'clock depending on the night then you probably won't be able to go through every single maze. Uh, so if you can, I'd certainly recommend the pass. If you like the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Uh, ring the bell to get notifications when we post new material. And join us on our next experience.